All right guys, so as you're aware, Black Friday sales on at the moment on AliExpress. So I thought I'd do a quick video talking about some of the best deals you can get if you're on a tight budget. So all of these watches are gonna be under or just over $65. A lot of which are gonna be quite a bit under that. So first up, we've got this Addis dive here. This is a fantastic price. For a watch on a stainless steel bracelet for this kind of price is crazy. Obviously it's not gonna be automatic at this kind of price. So we've got the Miota 2115, as I said, stainless steel. Pretty nice dimensions. Obviously at this kind of price, you're not gonna get sapphire, so it is mineral. But again, bear in mind, this is 20 pounds. That's just crazy value, I think. We've also got a ceramic bezel too, and BGW9. And when it comes to Addy's dive watches, they tend to be pretty good. And there's the different colors you can get. Have they got pictures of that? There we go, there's the loom. Oh, so it is actually a combination loom. So you've got BGW9 on the bezel, C3 on the dial. We have only got a press clasp on this, but you can change them out really cheaply. I'll include a link down in the description for that and all of the watches, obviously. So next up, we've got this Militardo. So I actually reviewed a similar version to this one. It was actually slightly more expensive, I think, and it didn't have sapphire, whereas this one does. So that is a nice bonus. And again, this is a quartz movement, but again, for that kind of price, that's understandable. And it is a nice sweeping quartz movement, the VH31. So again, terms of specs this one has actually got sapphire crystal as well and it is a dome sapphire so that is really impressive for this kind of price 100 meter water resistance c3 and nice dimensions as well these straps are actually quite good too pretty comfortable not normally the biggest fan of nato straps but i actually don't mind these nice sandblasted finish on the case as well well sandblasted or beat blasted and there's a look at that dome crystal and they have actually got pretty good loom as well and there it is going over all of the specs you're getting for that really good price so next up got this tandoria if you're not keen on that name though, they do actually do a sterile dial version. And again, there's quite a few different variations you can get, but you can actually get it on a bracelet, stainless steel bracelet, with the NH35 movement for under £34, which I think is a fantastic deal. But again, depends on which version you go for. The prices do fluctuate a bit, which is a bit odd. For some reason, the sterile dial versions are just cheaper, which might be a bonus to some people, but again, it depends on what colour you go for as well. So check them all out if you're interested. So as I said, the NH35, those nice, oh, they're actually sandwich dials. I missed that. Pretty cool. Hopefully they've got pictures of that further down. So 200 meter water resistance again, sapphire crystal. Again, for this price, that's really impressive. Hopefully they've got some pictures of, you know, doesn't look like they've got any more pictures. That's a bit of a shame. I was hoping to see that sandwich dial a bit closer up. Does look good though, based on some of the reviews. Do like that. And again, for this kind of price, I think that's really impressive. Next up. So this is one I actually reviewed on the channel quite a while back now. So if you've been around for a while, you might remember this one. So this is Bagani Design, and we've actually got this really nice rose gold case. Okay, they actually do want a fully rose gold bracelet. That's new. I'm not sure if that's to my taste personally. This is the one I had. I think I ended up selling it eventually. I've kind of lost track. Depending on what you're getting it on, price is going to vary slightly. And there's quite a few different versions. Some, even with the bracelet, £37 still is really impressive. So let's take a look at the specs in a bit more detail. So we've only got 100 meter water resistance, but we have got sapphire crystal. When it comes to the movement, I'm fairly sure it's the NH35. Hopefully I'll say further down. Yeah, NH35. Again, sapphire. Pretty nice dimensions, as you'd expect. Pretty standard. I actually quite liked it on this rubber strap when I had that. But again, it's always nice to have a proper bracelet that does actually fit the watch. Have we got anything? Oh yeah, I forgot to add a display case back. As I say, it was a while back I reviewed this one. Link will be down in the description if you want to check that out in full, as is the same with all the others. If I have reviewed them, the links will be down in the description. The only real weakness with this one is the same with all Pagani designs. The loom isn't the best. Otherwise, really solid watch though. Next up, we've got another Pagani design. This one is actually one I've still got, I think, if I remember correctly. So again, we're under that £40 mark. Got 36 mil, which is nice. NH35 again, sapphire as well. 200 meter water resistance. Again, if you get the bracelet, it's barely any more. So I'd definitely be getting the bracelet because you can always pick up a nice cheap strap for a few pounds anyway. So again, NH35, 200 meter water resistance, sapphire, stainless steel, the usual good stuff. Now, is this another one where they don't have anything else on the description? Yeah, bit of pairs it is. That's a bit unfortunate. But again, this is one I've reviewed before. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to see it in more detail, because it is a good looking piece, I think. I really love the deep black inky dial on this. One of the standout features, I think. So next up, got this Addy's Dive. This is another one I've previously reviewed. And we'll just get straight down into this. So again, this is just over £40. So we've got NH35, stainless steel, pretty nice dimensions with that cushion style case, sapphire crystal, BGW9. But the standout feature with this one is this dial, this textured dial is really nice which gives it something a little bit different 
check out the link if you want to see it in more detail and there's that loom so it is actually a two-tone loom bgw9 and c3 for the price they're asking i don't think you can really go wrong with this i think it might have a pressed clasp this one if i remember correctly and there's a better look at that textured dial okay i can't really see it but again if you check out the full review and as i said you can pick these up these milled clasps to replace this pretty cheaply next one got this militado which i've recently reviewed and I think this is a cracking one, especially for the price they're asking. Again, a few different variations, depending on which one you go for. They are quite different looks. This is the one I've got, if you haven't already seen it, link down in the description. They also do a Fotina version too, but again, that will have different looms, so bear that in mind. And they have different straps as well. But again, in terms of price, still pretty damn cheap. Only £45 in the specs. We've got that really nice sweeping BH31 movement domed crystal, which is sapphire, in terms of the rest of the specs. So 100 meter water resistance. Have we got anything else? No, not a great deal there. Here's just some pictures if you want to see all the different versions. If you don't want to check out that full review. And you can see the finishing is really nicely done. Obviously with some of these others, I haven't actually reviewed them, but I've checked out enough of the watches from the brands to be able to confidently say they're going to be pretty good. Next up, got another Raddy's Dive. So this is one I haven't actually checked out, but I think it is a really interesting one. So again, barely over £45. NH35, again, pretty standard for cheaper watches. 200 meter water resistance. Let's have a look at the rest of the specs though. Pretty standard stuff, as we said, NH35, stainless steel, milled clasp, sapphire crystal, 200 meter water resistance. And it looks pretty nicely finished as well. Looks like they've rounded off these edges quite nicely, so there weren't any sharp edges. Again, there's that loom. So you can see on that picture a bit better. It is actually a textured dial as well. And then that center section, that sunburst effect. And then there's the rest of the dimensions for you. So an interesting piece, I think. And again, for a really good price. Next up. So in my opinion, this is still Pagani Design's best watch to date. So we're still under £50. Again, there's plenty of different versions to go for with this one. With straps or bracelets. If you get the bracelet, it goes up to about 55 I'd definitely be going for the bracelet. Finding a strap to fit is easy. Finding a bracelet, not always so. I do quite like that one. So the one I had was the standard one. This one, I think I had the version 3 or 4. Again, link down in the description if you want to check that out. I don't think a great deal has changed. I wonder if it'll say what has actually changed on this version 6. Okay, so they have specifically mentioned a few bits they've changed. Proof the AR on the Sapphire Crystal apparently. We've got that VK63 movement, which again, it's a really nice movement. Stainless steel, 100 meter wall resistance. There's some of the dimensions. So again, Sapphire Crystal, stainless steel, pretty standard. It's just a really nicely done watch. Again, the only real downside is the loom. But again, with this kind of style of watch, you don't really expect great loom anyway. So it's not too big a deal. And then we've got that case back on there. Pretty nice. It's one that they've been tweaking with each version. It's just got better and better. And again, I think for the price they're asking, you can't really go wrong with this one. So now with this last piece, we're getting into the really expensive stuff. I think this might be getting to like a few pounds more than this one maybe. But in my opinion, it might potentially be the most watch you can get for the least amount of money. And that's this Addy's Dive. Oh no, I was wrong. It is actually cheaper than that one if you get it on the bracelet. So for just over 50 pounds, I think this is a ridiculous deal. So it's a thousand meter diver for that price on a stainless steel bracelet. We'll go over the other specs as we go down and you'll see just how good a deal this is. So NH35 and in terms of the dimensions, despite it being a 46 mil, because we've got those integrated lugs, it does actually wear better than you'd think. Again, I have reviewed this one, so check out the link in the description for that. We've got sapphire crystal, got the ceramic bezel, which is 120 click. I'm not really sure why it says C3 when it comes to the loom and BGW9. I'm pretty sure when I reviewed this, it was just BGW9. Again, check out the review and you can see just how good that loom is though. Scroll down. Yeah, so it is just BGW9 there. I don't know what that C3 bit's on about. And again, 1000 meter diver. Obviously I haven't tested that, but given the specs on this, I can't see why that wouldn't be true. We have actually got a helium escape valve on there, which yeah, there we go, you can see in that picture. And we've got the nice thick case, screw down, screw down crown, all the stuff you'd expect. We've also got that really nice date window, which is color matched to the six, my preferred position for it. And they have got different colors as well. Perhaps the green version has C3 maybe instead of EGW9, but obviously I can't really comment on that because I haven't got that version. It's a really nice bracelet on this as well. Nice chunky one suits the watch. And here's a closer look at the different colors. So I do quite like that blue one, but I went with the black. It does wear smaller than you think with those integrated lugs I was on about. As I say, this is potentially the best in terms of the amount of watch you're getting for the least amount of money. It's not one that's talked about all that often. Obviously, it's not going to be great for people who've got small wrists, but if you've got seven and above, it's going to be perfect. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. I wanted to focus more on some budget watches because a lot of the videos I've been doing lately have been going into the more expensive pieces. And I know not everyone can afford that, especially with all the sales that AliExpress are always doing. 
Obviously, you might have seen some of these before, but I think it's just a nice selection of cheap budget watches in this Black Friday sale. So again, if you are interested in picking any of these up, don't forget to check out the reviews for the various ones that I have already reviewed. Use my link if you do pick anything up. It's an affiliate link, it does help support the channel, but you don't pay any extra. And that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.